Hi and welcome to a lecture on dyspepsia and peptic ulcer disease. Dyspepsia is defined as persistent or recurrent abdominal pain or abdominal discomfort centered in the upper abdomen. Many diseases cause dyspeptic symptoms. This includes peptic ulcer disease, gastroesophageal reflex disease, gastric cancer and biliary tract disease. Both duodenal ulcers and gastric ulcers have a common pathogenesis, but they also have distinct features. Here again, although certain drugs can cause ulcers, in particular the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, the great majority of cases of peptic ulcer disease stem from infection with Helicobacter pylori. Initial pharmacologic management of dyspepsia focuses on testing for H. pylori and eradicating it if present or empirically treating symptoms with a standard dose of proton pump inhibitor for 4 to 8 weeks. If dyspepsia resolves after eradication of H. pylori, no further therapy is required. In dyspepsia with normal endoscopy, Prokinetic agents such as metoclopramide and domperidone may be more likely to produce symptomatic improvement compared with placebo. Now, let's get to discuss the treatment of peptic ulcer disease due to Helicobacter pylori infection. Successful treatment of H. pylori will result in ulcer healing and will prevent the development of recurrent peptic ulcer disease. First-line triple therapy consists of any proton pump inhibitor plus clarithromycin and amoxicillin administered twice daily for 10 to 14 days. 